Hi, this is Kanna Babu. Today we are discussing about what is CT, common table expression. This is the continuation of part 2. In the previous part 1, we discussed about row number function and from class. In part 2, we discussed about partition by class. In part 3, we are discussing about CT. Later in part, uh, we will, uh, our main target is to write the query to delete the duplicate records. Right? Okay. So, what is CTE? CTE is common table expression. CTE will always works with with the class. CTE is always works with with the class. Is it clear? So generally, for example, the syntax for CTE is with CTE name as here I will write the select command. Some select command I will write. So as we already discussed that subquery always the inner query will get executed and the result of the inner query was given to the next highest query so here when you try to work with CTA here the inner query the select command will get executed and the result of the select command will be stored in where CTE so CTE is like it is a temporary result set or temporary data set where the result of your particular query will be stored in that particular data set and now whatever the operations that you are performing on CTE will automatically affect to the original database that is the main advantage of CTE so I will uh, explain you with some example so that you will get some more knowledge on that I want to delete the employee details so I will create one CTE with EMP CTE as here I will write bracket open bracket close here I will write some query select a star from EMP where E number is equals to 101 so what is the meaning of this for example here I am having one table called EMP table so let us consider we are having the EMP table now once when you try to execute the inner query select star from EMP where E number is equals to 101 so the result of the inner query let us assume this is your original table the data will be stored from original table into CT. So this is your EMP CT. Is it clear? So here you uh, try to understand. When you try to execute this query, first the inner query will get executed. And the result of the inner query will be stored in a temporary memory area or temporary result set or data set which is called as EMP CT. Now here I will write one more query. Delete from EMP CT where that's a delete from EMP CT. So what is the meaning of this? Here EMP CT is also working like a table. It is like a data set. The result of that query will be stored in your EMP CT. And now once when you try to delete from EMP CT, the record is deleted from CTE and the record will be deleted in your original table also. So whatever the operations that you perform on the CTE, these operations will um, permanently update means it may be auto committed here whatever the operations that you that will affect on CTE these operations will automatically affect to the original database is it clear so that is the main advantage of what this uh, CTE with CTE is it clear yes here in this session we discuss about what is common table expression uh, this is the part 3 of our uh, uh, SQL. In the next session, I will discuss how to delete the duplicate records. For more updates, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, for more material, you can log into my Facebook group where you can get more material on .NET as well as SQL. Thank you. Have a nice day.